What is going on, guys? This is Azaden. Welcome back to Demon Souls. She was right here. Where we last left off, I was looking for the maiden. She was right there. So we just finished off 3-1. I think I'm going to go take a crack at 4-2 now. No real reason. Because I don't really want to do 3-2 right now, and I... I feel like saving 1-3 for later. Let's equip some kunai. Purchase just a few more. All right. There we go. I keep forgetting that I can't get through right there. Roll. Damn it. I can't eat grass and then roll quickly enough. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting that I can't drop down there because I can't roll. I have to go down the stairs. Alright, let's try this again. I can drop down here and get my souls. These stairs should be relatively free. Mucho Deathioso. Perfect. This sounds like a job for the Thief's Ring. I don't feel like getting shot at and I don't feel like having all the skeletons aggro. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the old hero is the, um, oh, that sucks. I forgot that they were there. replenished my endurance there. So the old hero is blind if I remember correctly, but that's not going to be very useful to us on this playthrough because we're a melee build and that's not uh, not really conducive to being quiet. Okay. 
Okay, so if I remember correctly in here, it's, um... Laser Bros. Ow, you dick. Ow. <laughs> I just got burned to death. Lasered to death? What the... H.G. Wells... War of the World's crap is this? Alright, let's try... Just for the sake of argument. I'm just gonna try running through. Great. Oh, I'm really glad we tried that. That worked out perfectly. Got to the boss, beat the level. Yeah, that was... Man, I can't imagine a way that that could have gone better. <laughs> Alright. So... Fuck. That's still a huge problem. The issue that I'm having is that our weapons me our weapons deal magic damage almost exclusively. Not gonna lie, not a fan of the build. Not a build that I will be doing again in Demon Souls. Although I will say I'm planning on doing a faith build in Elden Ring so far. Um based on what I've seen of the network test, there's a lot of really cool damage miracles. And I look forward to using them. Okay. Oh, dude, do you have any idea how much these things cost? One on the right looks real. No? Yuck. Light stone shard. I wonder if Elden Ring keeps the same item pickup as the new Demon Souls, or if it goes back to the old school, because I really like this. I love having the item just appear up at the side, 
You can read what it is. It's not intrusive to your game. Remember correctly, you can't kill that. You have to like knock it down. Our two attack is really good. It's really strong, and comes out very very quickly. Try slash attack. That's probably where Yurt shows up. This is a very bloodborne y feel to it. Just with the the moon there and everything. I could see this being a level in Bloodborne. And frankly, most of the enemies in this level as well are very Bloodborne-esque. I mean, obviously this came first, but... Coming back to it after having played a bunch of Bloodborne, I can tell where the inspiration was for some of it. You can literally feel the heartbeat of that creature in the in the controller. Nothing there right now. No, I'm not going to do that. A decent amount of items. <laughs> it bounced off my head. I'll get that on the way back. I don't think I really need the... Yeah, let's go with this. I don't think I really need the Thief's Ring right now. I'll stick with Regenerator. Why can't I see? Oh my god. Okay, run. <laughs> okay. There we go, holy shit. 
That was that was close. Oof, take a deep breath. Thanks, tips. Ooh. Here I am being all sarcastic, and then there's an ambush. Yeah, I know you, Souls game. I've met you before. I know your elevator tricks. to up my decks so that I have a ranged weapon. I keep saying it, and I'm working towards it, but I need to upgrade a bow and then have the ability to use it properly. one. Check the tops first. Try again. <laughs> Uh, apparently so. That was pretty close. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on your side. I have come to face the demons. I don't trust you, Yurt. I mean, you literally have the show tell and look like Law Trek. I will remember. I, I don't remember what he does though. Yeah, I don't know.
Sorry, I was reading. Wanted to see what Yurt, who Yurt killed. Oh man, fuck this place in uh, in this version of the game, because this is way freakier. Man centipedes are sounding quite freakish today. Is this back to where I was? Because if so, I would like to go kill Yurt. Sorry, Buck. Bud. Buck. Sorry, dude. But you need to get the fuck out of here. I don't really feel like having to contend with him going around killing people. Me a while to figure out that you can actually walk through this muck. Those items and get the hell away from him. And don't get me wrong, those guys are killable, but they're just not worth your time. Unless you have, like, decent fire spells. Okay, where the hell do I go to get on the platforms? There we go. Tons of mercury stone here. That should bring me back up to the doubles platform. I think we left an item behind there, but it most likely isn't important to us. What with the fact that we're doing a faith build, and there's not much that's important to us outside of the world five. A 
I'm liking the Isterel, honestly. It's working out for us pretty well. The speed is very quick, which more than makes up for the lack of damage comparatively to the Moonlight Sword. So I think we're probably going to stick with Isterel. It's also not super bright. Like, if we switch back to the Moonlight Sword for a minute... Then switch off of these boots because we're now heavy. This glow is actually super distracting to me. Although this one hits things. And that's kind of a big difference. I don't know. Let's use this for a little bit. It's rough. I wish that you could get more colorless demon souls than what you can, because I would like to upgrade a bunch of stuff. I'd like to have my adjudicator shield fully upgraded, for example. I don't know. I'll have to look up how many you can get per playthrough. And how many it costs to upgrade things. Double checking for a Mercury Stone. I'm well, pretty sure my dude's stuck down there forever. Happy birthday. And a happy birthday to you as well. Not looking forward to the PvP section. In 3-3 because I am absolutely trash at PvP. I honestly, depending on how it goes, I might, I might go offline for it. I don't know. Ugh. Octopus-headed asshole. Not good. That's a death. Damn it, I got real lucky he didn't do that the first time. Oh yeah, not a death somehow. Oh my god. Somehow we survived through all that. That's not the right spell. Alright. <laughs> Let's try this again. Black Phantom Octopus faces are not fun. God, these things are freaky as shit. They're even freakier in this version of the game. You know, it would make my day if the Moonlight Sword had a projectile attack.
Okay. <laughs> there we go. It would make my day if the Moonlight Grid sort had a projectile attack, honestly. Like the way that it does in Dark Souls. That would change my entire decision on Istrel versus Moonlight Grid Sword. It wouldn't even be close. I want projectiles that badly. Ow, fuck. Very much not good. So we've got two up there. For a second I thought it was three, but that's a shadow. Guy down. I watched a little video on Demon Souls recently, and I didn't know this, but apparently it was originally requested to be a competitor for Oblivion. Because Oblivion had console exclusivity for the Xbox for a year. And Sony wanted to respond back with a game that would be good to compete with Oblivion, but they requested like a first person medieval RPG to be made, and it was going terribly until Miyazaki got involved and basically scrapped everything about it and made this instead. Wow, that was... Thanks for staying up there long enough for me to <laughs> disembark from the platform. Yeah, this elevator doesn't like to stay put at all, eh? Oh, shit. There are dudes in the walls. There's a dead guy. I think the mace is still my favorite backstab animation. The, the idea of just tripping them and then bashing them. It's a good one. Splat. Demon-faced assholes are just like, I'm not a fan. <laughs> not a big fan of them. Alright, so this brings us back here. Ow. 
And luckily we're not really, like, deprived of resources at all. Because we have regen. Both mana and health now. Archstone shard, get off of there. We are going to need to look into buying more grass soon, or grinding for grass, but I don't like grinding for grass, so... We'll be buying it when we can. I miss overkill numbers. Because I like to know the exact amount of damage that I do. If I do more than a full health bar of damage. if I've been down that way. I don't think so. No, I must not have. The two R2s kills them. Which is pretty easy to land, actually. Just got the Ring of Avarice. Gold Mask. What's the Gold Mask? Looks cool. Terrible defense. Wow. What does it do? I mean, I feel like that's gotta give you something. I will have to look that item up on the wiki, because I'm not sure. That was not the way to the boss. <laughs> I don't remember which way to go to get to Maneater. Probably up, really. I mean, if you think about it. I know we're running a little bit long, but I do want to get one man-eater attempt in. Hopefully we beat him. Probably won't. But I figure we've come this far, we might as well squeeze in one attempt at him. There's the item I missed earlier. Don't really care. Ah, shit. I thought that this was on the way to the old monk. Not to the man-eater. That's not good. I really, really dislike this section. Just this little staircase right here. Fucking hate it. I'm gonna try to run past. That didn't work at all. Now he's eating my face. Alright, let's try to roll. 
towards the railing and up the stairs. Nope. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe for more content. Share the videos. We're trying to grow the channel. And we will see you next time.